Hi all, there's this one sound and the first time I heard it I thought I was in heaven. Surrounded by angels singing the most beautiful things I've ever heard. I started to hear it on records, to see other players use it. I just needed to have... I just needed to have that sound. So finally, after saving up, I got a pedal that had that feature. It was so addictive. I started to throw it on everything. Boom, put it on there. Boom, put it on this. Boom, why not over here? I use it all the time. It sounded so good. So you're wondering what it is. Here, have a listen. Yeah, I know, right? This is one of the most beautiful things there is. But at the same time, I just can't stand it anymore. I guess this is one of those things that, that grow popular and then it gets used all the time. And then you're eventually so sick of it that you can't stand it anymore. Just like pizza. No, pizza. Pizza is always good. So we're talking about shimmer here. And that basically is where the wet reverberated, so a reverb signal is being octaved and then mixed back in with the original signal, creating these upward spiraling angelic sounds. It sometimes reminds me of a giant pipe organ in a giant cathedral. I guess it has to do with <clears throat> the overtones that are super prominent in these organs too. So all the sounds in the intro were from the Source Audio Ventris. One of the coolest reverb pedals I ever tried, by the way. Uh, I used two reverbs at the same time, which is possible with this, re with this pedal. First, the swell. And then the swell signal was fed into the shimmer. So together it sounded like this. It's pretty crazy, right? So, but you can also use shimmer in a more transparent and less obvious way, of course. So from over the top. Turn down the mix. This is also how I use it in my video Everyone asked me how I got that tone, which is very subtle and slightly lifts your sound. But still, I'm not that sure about how I feel about this sound in a moment. But So the first use of this effect isn't totally clear, but the name that's highly associated with the shimmer sound is Brian Eno, an English musician and producer who worked with bands like U2, Talking Hands, Coldplay, and a lot more. But he's also a known artist for his ambient music. And if there's one sound that says ambient like no other, it's reverb. And also the shimmer sound. One of the earliest examples I found of shimmer is Prophecy Theme and Stars by Brian Eno. Check it out. Also used for movie soundtracks, for example. Beautiful, atmospheric, ethereal sounds. Later, the sound popped up on more mainstream records by U2, for example. The Unforgettable Fire in 1984, I guess, and Joshua Tree, where the sound is prominently featured by The Edge, guitar player of U2, of course. To the point today where you'll hear it a lot. So if it's been around for so long, why do I suddenly start to dislike it? Well, back in the day, I guess they had to really craft the shimmer sound by, by hand. Take the wet 
reverbed signal, uh, feed it through an octaver and blend it in with the original signal again and then repeat. That is something special and unique and a process that each time sounded different depending on the kind of gear or the settings you used. The sound on its own was an art, but now it's just a preset on almost every reverb pedal that comes out. It's not bad at all of course, so why not put it on there if you have it uh, and it's great to have. And this one over here is probably the best one I've ever heard and super musical and it's a great sounding pedal. But it's such a characteristic sound and very easy to overuse because it sounds so beautiful. It's almost like you can't stop being creative just because it sounds so beautiful playing that one chord. Oh yeah, that's a new song right there. But in the end you did nothing special or creative to achieve it. So. That's exactly how I felt sometimes. It took away from my creative process because I used it as a goal or a purpose instead of a means to, to come to a certain place. And this pedal has so many other cool features that sound just brilliant or maybe even better like this offspring setting, it's crazy. Or a lo-fi setting, which is great. This is the clean signal. This is again two reverbs, it's the lo-fi. Combined with a mod verb. Together, it sounds like this. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so it's just a giant playground. So I didn't really have a solid conclusion for this video other than just be careful you don't overuse certain things and just keep thinking about the creativity and stay true to your thought process. I don't know. Of course don't stop using shimmer, it can be a great addition to your sound. But maybe be careful to use it like as a thing on its own, like hey man, this is my new intro of a song. So good. Oh. Use it. I don't mind. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you next time with another video. Cheers.